what the heck is a zombie ant and zombie ant fungus? That was my reaction. People love zombies, right? <laughs> David Hughes uh, approached me to uh, do some animations and he wanted to know if I could do some animations of the spores shooting out into the environment. So I started looking at the data and the more I dug into the data and the more I looked at it, I realized that it wasn't just an animation, it was more of an experience. And I partnered with Tally uh, to be able to create the interactive installation. Initially when we created the zombie ant installation, um, we were using iPads, so um, everybody would take the iPad and they would, you know, look at the installation and then they would click on different parts of it and then it would just pro project an augmented reality environment. Mm -hmm. And so because of COVID, um, we couldn't have people touching the same device, so we reimagined the zombie ant installation and the project to be able to migrate all of those uh, augmented reality uh, environments to uh, visualizations. We thought this would be a great opportunity um, to recreate and reimagine what the zombie ant experience could be. I mean, it, it turned out better than we ever imagined. We've done plays, we've done musicals, cultural series events, student events, but never a museum piece on stage. We started figuring out the technical elements, figuring out lighting and sound, and working with Daryl on video projections, and figuring out what type of gear and equipment that we would need. You know, the more excited Daryl got, <laughs> the more I the more excited I got, right? So it was it was oh, yeah. just that that back and forth. My mind was blown because I never expected it to go to this, you know, creative length, but it was so exciting to watch and I sort of stepped back and I, I just became totally overwhelmed with what we were able to create using a theater environment. The more people that you have thinking about a problem or you have thinking about a topic, the more useful and interesting ideas come to life. And that, to me, is probably the most interesting and important thing about science art. You just, you have so much creativity that's not just on the problem-solving side, but also on the emotional and how it makes you feel. So that's what's important to me. Thank you.